Hey there and welcome to this video. So my name's Anita and I'm going to show you how to use the wave.video editor to create a video like the one you see on my screen at the moment. This one has been created using the layout options inside of the wave.video editor and I've added my video to a device. Now in order for you to do this, there are a few steps that you have to take and I'm going to show you how you can transfer a video that I've uploaded like this. So this is a video that I recorded on my telephone. So this is a screen recording on my phone and I've uploaded it into the wave.video editor in its format like this. And I'm going to show you the steps that you need to take in order for you to transform it from this style video to this style video. So the first thing you need to do in this video is to decide where the video is going to go and then which size the video that you're going to create needs to be. So I'm actually going to create this for YouTube. So I want it to be a 16 by nine, so a normal horizontal video. However, if you wanted to put this portrait video into a device frame like this and actually have it as a device frame in a like a, a reels option as such, then all you would need to do is click on this and it would pull that into the video for you. And also what would normally happen is that this intro button would be ticked. And when you actually put it into a device, you get that zoom effect. So if you don't want that zoom effect, just make sure that you untick this. Then what you would need to do is just resize this to fill the space up a little bit. And it was all ready. What you can do is also check that it sits into the device. You see how it's outside the device here. So what I did is I double clicked on the picture or the video, and then you need to bring this down so that it fits into the frame properly and then go ahead and click done. Now, all of my video recording is inside that frame. So that's how easy it is to actually put that device in Put your video into a device if in its original format, as in other words, as a portrait video. But I want to show you how to do this into a uh, normal horizontal video for you to upload this video into YouTube. And also, as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can create captions for this video and download the SRT file so that you can upload that SRT file into YouTube and optimize your video even more for your YouTube channel. So we're going to create this style video with text and the annotations that come with it. So as you can see, I've got this annotation here, which which moves along as I you see your business page. so that it directs people's eyes. So the first thing you want to do is we need to resize our video. So I'm going to go back a couple of stages so that we can um, go back to how the video was when we got into here. So I just want to take this layout out. So this is the video that we are presented with. First thing you want to do is go to resize, go to horizontal 16 by nine. This is a YouTube video size. You can also use it in Facebook and Twitter, but this is specifically, I'm doing this video for you YouTubers out there. Click YouTube video. Now again, it just stretches that video out. So we want to make sure that this video is smaller. So now we want to go to layouts. In layouts, we're going to choose the device, which is our mobile phone. And again, we need to double click on it to bring that size down to fit into the mobile phone like so and click done. Now, your video is still in a horizontal, but it is inside a frame. Now, to show you that it's in the horizontal, if I was to put my background on here, this is the horizontal video frame that we have. And I can move this around wherever I want it to be. So it can be on the left, the right, or in the middle. I actually quite like them to be in the middle. And as you can see, you've got those blue lines on the video there you, that tells you that it's in the middle. Now you can change the background color to match whatever color you wish by clicking on that space and coming over here. Now, if you wanted to do brown colors, you can. I actually prefer when I'm doing this type of video to have a white background so that my text and any annotations that I have pop out. Now, in order for you to add your text in, you can either go to the text option here, which gives you all of these pre-made designs that you can use, or you can go over here and click the text button 
and it will say add text or add call to action. So I'm just going to add text in here. I'm going to move the text by clicking on it and bringing it over here. And then I'm going to just resize it so that when I start writing, it matches what I want. I'm also going to come over here to the textiles and change the text to my brand color. And then you just write in your message here. So here you just um, double click write in your video title. And that's all you need to do. Now, one thing to say is that if you want the video title to stay on the left hand side all the way through your video, the easiest way to see the end of your video in your timeline down here, rather than scroll all the way over here like this, is to use these really cool little tool here, this little minus. And you do that, it's going to bring your timeline shorter. And now you can see the end and the beginning. So click back on the text and just pull it if you want it to be there the whole time, right to the end of your video. If you only want it to show for a certain amount of time, you can decide that by going along. You see, it can have it off the first 12 seconds. So that might be all I need. Now, once you've done that, you can listen to the rest of your video and add your annotations in. As you can see here, I have this pointy thumb. And what I've done is I use the pointy thumb to point to the different parts of my video that I wanted people to see. Now, in order for you to get that pointy thumb, what one needs to do is you need to come over to the overlay and stickers, go to GIFs, and I usually say arrow. Click return, and there's the little pointy thumb. Now you can add that to your video at the beginning. And what I usually do is I position it where I want it to go. And as you can see, it's gone right to the end of my video. So what I usually do is I press play, I let the video play until I know where I want to be. And as you can see, I can then cut it. And then I carry on. And then when I want to move it, I just move it to where I need it to be. And I keep doing that all the way through my video. That way I'm using the same annotation. So that gives me that, that continuity. And it means I can just cut and move it around as I need it. So that's how you add that in. So as you can see in my video, I have them all the, sprinkled all the way through, which helps people see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's all you have to do to create that video. Now, one of the things I promised you all at the beginning was to show you how to create the uh, captions or the transcript that you can use in your video. Now to do that, you come down here to the captions option and over here, you click the plus button. Now that's going to ask you to do automatic, upload captions or translate. So we're gonna do automatic. And down here, you can choose the source language. In other words, what language I'm currently speaking at the moment. And also I can translate it to a different language if I want to. And I can have more than, I can do one line or two lines of captions. Once you've decided on this, you go ahead and click create captions and it's going to create them for you. It would probably take a little bit longer than just like that because um, I've already made them and I've gone back on myself. So just let it do its business. You can leave and do other editing on your video whilst it's doing that and then come back to it. What I like to do is go through my captions to make sure that there's no spelling mistakes and things like that. And then I don't actually want my captions to be on my video, but what I want to do at the moment is take the SRT file from my video and use it on my YouTube. So to do that, you go over here to the settings option and you click download SRT file. Go ahead and click that and it's going to download that file into your computer for you so that you can use that on YouTube. Sometimes it's good to name it so you know what it's for and it will download that file for you. Now, if you don't want the captions to show up on your video, you all you need to do is go to settings and click the show captions off. So what I've done is I've used wave.video as a way of transcribing my video and getting that precious SRT file so that I can upload that on my YouTube channel. That saved me money because I don't have to then put this video into rev.com or another transcription service. I can just use my wave.video editor to do that for me. 
then all that's left to do once you've got your SRT file, you've got all of your text and your annotations in, you go ahead and click the publish button. And that's here and go ahead and click publish video. Wave.video is going to do its business. I suggest if you're going to put this onto YouTube that you do the 1080 resolution. It's an MP4 and the quality is optimized. Go ahead and click render and it will render the video for you ready for you to upload into YouTube. So I hope you found that really useful. If you found this video useful, do give me the thumbs up, do share it with your friends and colleagues, and do please subscribe to my channel because that supports me as I grow my YouTube following. Any other questions about this video or what I've showed you to do, drop them in the comments and I will either reply to you in the comments or I'll create another video that answers your question. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.